Hello, I'm Decrypted from Amplified Hacks, and today I'm here to show you how to make a reflection using Adobe Photoshop CS3 Extended. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a new project, and after make it as big as you want. Alright. Okay, so then you want to set a foreground color. So, click there, pick a dark color if you, it's recommended. And click OK. Then, to fill your background, just press Alt delete okay so when you're done that you want to convert the background to a layer so go background layer from background and click OK Then you want to go to effects gradient overlay click reverse click here click here and then pick a light shade all right when you're done that, press text. So you want to add some text to it. All right, add some text. Okay. Now you want to drag the text layer to the new layer icon right over top and then it creates a new layer. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go edit, transform, flip vertically. And then bring it down to right about there. Okay. So when you're done that, you want to um rasterize type and then after when when you when you're done that um, click the marquee tool set the feather to 10 px and go right in the middle of the second text and then highlight it and then press delete and as you can see right now it's it made it look more like a reflection so to make it look more like a reflection go opacity and then bring the percentage down to 33%. Right about there. All right. Okay. Next thing you want to do is click on this layer and rasterize that one too. Okay. After you've done that, click FX, gradient overlay. So we're going to add a gradient to this one too. So we're not reversing this one. Okay, click here, then here. All right, now you want to you want to make it look the exact same. All right, there you go. Click okay, and then add a drop down shadow. It'll make it look way better. Okay, and this is uh, and that's how you make a reflection using Adobe Photoshop CS3 ex extended. And thanks.